For Anthony Nesty, there's Suriname on the north coast, just north of Brazil and South America. Of course, if uh, he wins, he'll be the first guy for even medals. He'll be the first to win a medal in swimming for Suriname. I was born in, uh, in Trinidad. When I was nine months, I moved to Suriname, South America. It's a country where things are very slow paced. So when I was six, we, we joined a club um, where they had swimming, uh, basketball, football, all the sports. But my dad said, no, you need to do an individual sport. So we kind of chose swimming. I was 16 when I came to the US, uh, and then I decided to go to bowls. And, uh, 1985. The two things that really got me at bowls were the practices and, of course, the, the weather. First time I stepped foot on this camp, I loved it. It was an easy recruiting job. Just seeing the passion of the Gators coming to campus, watching the practices, and um, seeing the environment here, I fell in love with it. It was an easy decision for me to come to Florida. I won a couple of SEC championships uh, in the 100 and 200 fly and of course NC2A championships. Being able to compete at that level and you know, having success at that level is it's, it's something special. My first Olympic experience was 1984 in Los Angeles. The Swimming Federation of Suriname picked me to, to represent Suriname at the Olympics, but uh, I wasn't ready for that at all. I was 15 going on to 16. Moving forward uh, four years after that, it was the Seoul, Seoul Korea. I, I think I was better prepared a second time, obviously. Matt Biondi going for the goal. John Sieben coming hard on the outside, but Biondi looks like he's going to take it to the wall. Nesty finally takes it in lane three at the very last moment. Congratulations, Anthony. Any special significance that this is the first medal for your country? Well, I'm, I'm very happy to be in here and um, winning the first medal and all. And, I'm just excited right now, can't believe it. The coolest thing was to just having my dad in the stand and watching him see me win the gold. It, it was, it, as they say, it was priceless. My next Olympics after 88 was uh, 1992. I got a bronze that year. Once I won it in 88, the added pressure was immense. Special things Suriname did for me, they um, had a coin, commemorative coin made. I was on a stamp. Uh, it was on a 20 guilders bill. It's it kind of our currency there. Um, they named an airplane after me and a stadium after me. They really valued it because it was the first time ever somebody of a tiny country did anything on that world stage. You know, it's, 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 it was history. When you're an athlete, and you completed your career and you graduate, what do you do? Ron Bellatori was a real good friend of mine. Flat out asked me, he said, he used to call me Nestus. Hey, Nestus, you want to coach the Gators? I need, I'm looking for an assistant coach. It took me a second to accept the job. Being an athlete is one thing, but then again, coaching, you know, the Florida Gators is, is a whole nother step that, uh, that I'm really proud of that I had the chance to do and continue to do. I mean, working with Nessie, someone who you would have never known was a decorated athlete himself. He doesn't go around boasting that he's an Olympic gold medalist. He doesn't go around saying he's coached multiple SEC, NC2A champions, even Olympians. He knows the right balance he needs to get those athletes to perform at the highest level. And with that, he's able to push them and guide them, not only in the pool, but outside the pool as well, because I think the lessons that he coaches them through the water also carry out over into the real world. There's no greater feeling in the world knowing that you can work alongside one of the best coaching staff in the world. The things I enjoy most is see kids perform at such a level that no one expects them to perform at. We all have goals that we need to meet, and those goals are going to get done if you work together. And once you achieve that goal, it's very rewarding. A coaching profession is very demanding. You know, I see these athletes 20, 30 hours a week. And they become family. It's part of being, being a Gator. It's, it's a, the Gator family, as they say. How do I want to be remembered? That's a tough question. I want to be a coach that um, the kids respected a coach that worked with the athletes and uh, I got the best out of the athletes. Like people say, I'm proud to be a Gator. <laughs>